Hey guys, welcome back to another account update video and today we will be unlocking Jedi Knight Revan. So it's another update with big progress and we will now be focusing on Darth Revan. Um, while that's the case, I though I do want to unlock Admiral Piet to buff my trooper team a little bit more. So... I will be holding off a little bit on, like, Bastila and Jolie, sorry, not Jolie, Juhani and Bastila are going to be held off just a little bit, because I want to build my trooper team, but while that is the case, we will still be able to be working on HK, Karth, and on, um, Candorous. Also, we are getting super close to our first relic, I'm planning on taking Yoda to relic 3, just because I don't want to take him too high yet, I think I want to focus a little bit more on, uh, like, rounding out the rest of my squads rather than beefing up my Jedi completely, for now at least, eventually though I will take him higher, obviously it's going to be in the pretty far future, just because... I believe he's needed for General Kenobi. I think Relic 8. So we will eventually have to take him to Relic 8. But for now he's going to sit at Relic 3. Now. Let's. Finish up the dailies. We have Squad Arena done. So we're about halfway done. And then we are going to be. <coughs> focusing. On unlocking Jedi Knight Rev in this video. And. That's pretty much it for the day. Um, thank you guys for popping in. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Um, what do you guys think about the new uh, Ewok team? See, me personally, I think it'll make unlocking C-3PO a lot easier. With all the constant like, assisting and like the tons of attacks. Basically, the new Ewok is what Gre what Greedo should have been, in my opinion, you know? But, um... Yeah, it's nice to see Ewoks getting buffed, for me at least, um, um, by you guys. So, um, I'm kind of slowly working on, um, the requirements for Executor, like... Obviously, I'm working on Piet, right? And I'm getting close to a 7-star TIE Fighter. I'm trying to get, like, all the ships up before I really focus on the characters. You know, that way it won't take us, like, forever, right? And I'm also really working on building up the Malevolent ships as well. Just because, um, it'll be nice when I get to Malevolence to at least have the entire fleet unlocked. Um, but, besides that, still a bit of dailies to go. But honestly, guys, I'm so excited about unlocking Jedi Knight Revan. It's, it's another big legendary. Then we're gonna go to Darth Revan. And then, hopefully, we'll have some of the ships built for executor and then at that point we can hard focus on executor so let's head into the fleet battle um i think here we have to target uh at least if everything goes to plan we have to really target uh, anakin because of all, like, he's just such a threatening ship, right? And if we can get him out immediately like we just did, it raises our chances a lot of winning this battle. Um, I would like to go after, um, the Ghost and Phantom, but I think, um, I think the, um, Endurance is gonna make, a, um, Slave 1 taunt. Just because, um, yeah, just because he's the healthiest and the other, um, parts of the crew are 
rather weak in comparison. And if we can take that off, right, now we can target the ghost. And there we go, the ghost is finished. Now I think we go phantom. Or we lose. Um, however, I think if we can get rid of slave one, right, we, then we don't have to deal with the constant, like, uh, foresight, right? At least for slave one, because that's the most annoying part about fighting the phantom. Um, and then I think we go over here and see if we can cut down on this protection, right? This uh, retribution is going to be really annoying. I think it's what it's, what's going to lose it for us. Yeah, yeah, I think it's just time to quit at that point. But guys, we have, we are so close to um, getting Jedi Knight Revan. Um, I did undergear a little bit of the requirements just because I have Bastila at gear 12 and I have Jolie has the Zeta so I don't think it really necessary for Mission Val, Zalbar and T3 to really be super high gear um plus you get the Jedi Knight Revan bonus who does a lot of damage so yeah um let's just begin this this part here is going to take a long time i'm hoping mission can speed that up with a little bit of damage um i think we mark here right oh he doesn't stun oh, i was hoping that would also get the uh, the armor shred um i think i should quit just because i could if I level up Mission Vow, she'll be able to do a little bit more damage and speed up the process a little bit. So, yeah, I think we take her to 60 here. I think that's really all we need. I want to try and save some training droids for Jedi Knight Revan. So we can hopefully take him to a reasonable gear level. I'm hoping we can take him to gear 9. But honestly, I don't think I have the gear stored up for that. Um... Now I think we should be at least a little bit better um, off. It's not going to be make a huge difference, but it, you know it'll save like it, probably like a minute or so. So yeah, let's just chip away at this raincore, and yeah, let's let's begin this again, All right? Let's. There we go. We got our first bit. Okay, that's a crit. That's we like those crits. Keep keep that up. All right, um, let's get that. Um, I, man, Jedi Knight Revan, it's so underwhelming of a character and a kit without Jedi, right? Like there's no assisting, there's no cleanse. So <laughs> it's interesting to me that they didn't make like other characters, like maybe like Alec, right? The light side version of Malak, right? It would have been cool for that to be a requirement for Jedi Knight Revan instead of, like, T3. Just so there's more assisting and you get to learn his kit a little bit better. Uh, but I guess you already have two Jedi, so the kit would you, you, would still, like, kind of make sense. I don't know. I just feel like, right, there's just not enough Jedi, like, older public Jedi. Like, I mean, think about it, right? That's the time of the High Republic, right? And what? We've only got, like, four in the game. Like, come on, CG. Right? I think I think we're about a third of the way. Or two till um, completion, right? And... Eh? Yeah. Looks, looks about a third of the way. Um... I don't know about you guys, but the new update with the sidebar thing, it's so annoying. I mean, obviously, it's probably helpful for new players, right? But, like, I've always been, like, good at estimating turn meter, I guess, right? So, honestly, it's just a distraction. But, yeah, it looks like we're 
about to finish this up. It, will, it would be interesting to see who gets the final kill, you know. It's annoying, especially in the beginning stages of the game is when Zalbar, like, doesn't crit, right? Like, when he's not level 85 and you level up his abilities, right? He doesn't crit, which is so annoying because there's no armor shred, right? And if he had armor shred, I'm telling you, that, that would, that, oh, Rancor mission would take such a less, such less amount of time, right? Now, for the next stage, we've got Bastila now. And, um, let's put Bastila in the leader slot, you know. That would at least help Jedi Knight Revan and herself survive a little bit better, so why not, right? <laughs> um, mainly, like, there's just not a lot of multi-attacks, or I guess there's Zalbar, right, and Jedi Knight Revan, but maybe I'm wrong here, but it would be nice for, like, the first bit if you could just wipe everyone out in, like, four turns, like, move on to the next stage. Like, I guess that's coming from a person who's already beaten the event, but, um, it's kind of a boring event, honestly. Like, there's no, like, cutscenes, right? Like in CLS or Beskar Armor Mando. And, personally, I think it would be cool if there was just, like, more, more of those, like, that was, like, incorporated more into the game, like how Ben, old, oh, old Ben dies, right, and then how Quill sacrifices himself, like, I think that needs to be a bigger part of the game, right, where you have, like, such known characters for their sacrifice, and... Like, those are big moments in the story, right? So why not add more of that into the game? And I think that's why a lot of people play. That's another win. Right? Now, now we get T3. He's gonna just help so much at Gear 1. Um, but, like, back to what I was saying about, um, the, like, sacrifice and, like, the more memorable moments... Right? Like, imagine, like, in the Malik event, right? Like, I didn't play the game, so I don't really know too much. But imagine if you had, like, them, like, the Jedi or, like, Darth Revan escaping, right? After, like, defeating Malik and having the ships, like, blow up, right? Because I think that's what happened. So, imagine that, right? That'd be cool. Like, another cutscene like that. Um... Well, like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, maybe, like, a C-3PO, where, like, in the beginning of the, like, final stage or something, right, you have, like, oh, wait, they do get captured, right? At the end, when all of the uh, guys have their hands up, there's, like, the net that comes up. At the end, yeah. It'd be cool if that was more cinematic, but, like, you know, it's there, so I guess I can't complain too much about that. All right, now we've got, we finally got Jolie, and um, now we fight Tuscans. Um, so yeah. We're super close to finishing this event. The last stage is going to be really, really frustratingly hard, I think. Maybe not hard, it's just going to take a while. It's it's similar to the White Rancor, if you guys haven't played it before. Uh, I, like, this, it's just so long and tedious, right? Like, that's the... There's just two tedious stages in this event, and that's another reason why I don't particularly like this event all that much. Like, it's cool that you go, you get to go through, like, Coder, like, the entirety of it, right? Like, it's cool that you can, like, see that, right? But it's not, <clears throat> like, I think it could be better, you know? 
obviously this event was created a long time ago, but so was the CLS event, right? So, and the CLS event, event is just, I don't know, it's just so much better. It's one of the best events in the game, in my opinion. And, while I love the character, it's such a great character, it's a stacked character, it's, the event, it's, it's lacking in my opinion, um, there's, there's just so much that CG could do to improve events, like, in the future, like, events are a part of the game that are, like, they're nice, right, like, you finally have gotten all your characters up to requirements after, like, months of grinding, right? But then, you see GG just, like, halves, like, the entire event, right? Like, it doesn't take... I, I guess the programming take, probably takes a lot. But, I guess for, like, free-to-play players, right? I feel like it's just... It'd be a far more fun... For us to do the events if it was more cinematic right it's more like oh great we we got the event all right let's let's just time to move on to the next thing right it's hard to appreciate events when they're kind of like not great you know oh i remember this stage this stage was so hard and it took me so many attempts the first time but I think that since I have the Jolie Zeta and I have a Gear 12 Bastila, it should be a lot easier than the first time I played it. Um, so, yeah. Let's finish up this first bit here. And then... Um, Oh, let's just call Gemini Knight Revan. Um, I think the play is to target the Red Troopers when I get the chance. Just because they do so much damage. And, like, as you can see, like, everyone's, pro like, bonus protection is gone. Right? <clears throat> so, if we can just, like, after we get this guy out, we, and we take out all of the Red Troopers, right? See, like, they're weak. That's why there's the taunt in the, um, incorporated into this part, the event, right? Is it would be so, it's, it'd be such an easy level if there weren't the taunts. I don't, I don't, don't remember who to target here. Because, oh wait, it's the same as the other one. Um... I was thinking this was the final stage, right? The final stage, that, the final stage was so tough. Um, I completely forgot who to target. I think there's a strategy for that, though. And if you target, like, one trooper, everything goes by so much easier. But we're not there yet. So, let's start, let's take these guys out so we can hopefully get there before we die. Um, Jedi Revan looks like he's about to fall. Um... Good thing he has the healing part of his kit, right? And let's just dispel the taunt, but he's about to die anyway, so we can target him. And let's get the red trooper. And there we go, final stage. Let's see. Alright. Oh yeah, we're supposed to put target like the Sith like assassin guy. Um, and, oh, right, in the, um, Darth Revan event, there's, like, the guy who's stuck in the tomb then is used to protect the tomb, right? At least I think so. I don't really remember that event too well. Um, just call Jedi Revan here, um, oof. If Bastel wasn't gear 12, she would have fallen right there. Stun. Um. Maybe the strategy was to target the Red Troopers, honestly. Like, they're dealing so much damage and chipping away at me that I almost died there. Or at least Bastel almost died. 
Um, Jolie probably could have still like revived her because that that Zeta is awesome. Highly recommend for anyone. I think we just dispel that, and then we target the Sith, the Sith, the Sith assassin there, right? Because we're so close to taking the Sith assassin out, and then we go for a Red Trooper. And worry, we are basically there now, right? Let's finish up taking out this the silver trooper, and then, guys, we are going to hit the final stage, which is basically like the Rancor stage again. I think it just takes like three times as long. Oh. Oh, yeah, like, the, the spirit guy, he's, like, freed now. Right. All right, there we go. Another 55. Five Zetas. If I had some of the purple things, I'd apply the Zeta, but, um, I don't have too many of them, so. Or at least get on that Revan Zeta when I unlock him, because I'm thinking Padme, right, because if you've seen my recent Grand Arena videos, Padme has been doing awesome on defense, so I don't think she's really going to be needing the Zetas, at least for a little bit, so I'm gonna put them on Jedi Knight Revan. Oh, I hate, I really hate the like blue I guess like damage immunity thing where it, it like cuts the damage in half or like all of it off basically I don't remember too much of like all of that all of this part of the event that's what I remember and I remember it makes it take so long um but I think if you deal like debuffs or something to it right it goes away or something like marked it'll go away i don't really know though um let's just call it on revan um there we go it's a little bit more damage there i'm actually getting a little worried about jolie i think he might pass first um with the healing immunity um so Hoping he doesn't die, you know, because if anyone else dies, they're done, so. I'm thinking, though, if he's not, if he doesn't get healing immunity, like, on him, he should be fine. Just because of the fact he heals on his basic and every other of his abilities heals him, too. So... We should be good as long as healing immunity doesn't fall on Jolie. Right? We're about halfway down now. Um, more healing immunity on Jolie. Not good. We don't like that. Um, if we cleanse off Jolie there, he, sh he should be fine. Call Jedi Knight Revan. If we do that. It's not going to stun because nothing stuns in this event. It's really kind of annoying. Um... Call, do the do the mass assist there. Now we're about a third of the way till completion. Then we do that cleanse stuff. Um, our healing immunity on JKR. I'm so scared. He'll just cleanse himself off there. Um, call JKR again. Do the mass assist. Um. Then we are so close to this being completely done and Jedi Knight Revan unlocked, but we still got a little bit to go. I don't think we're going to die here. All of our bonus protection might go off, but I think if all else fails, um, Bastila can tank us through because of her gear 12. Um, but... We should be good here. As long as that, like, damage immunity doesn't pop back up, 
We don't get any healing immunity, and then I think we're good. All right, there we go. We are done, right? Ugly, ugly Rancor is finally beaten. <clears throat> All right, time to unlock Jedi Knight Revan. It has been quite the grind, although I've been kind of side farming it for a little while now, so it probably didn't take as long for me to unlock him as a lot of other people, because I was side farming him while I was building up um, Genosian Brood Alpha. Plus, I spent a lot of my crystals on him, or at least refreshes on T3, because he was the last character that I needed upgrading. But, sadly, that's as high as we can take his level. Um, Alright, so far, so good. Uh, we gotta look for this. I'm thinking here, right, I'm gonna spend a bunch of crystals, right? And just for absolutely no reason at all to get him up like two gear levels all right that's kind of where i'm leaning right now you know can't just have him be sitting at gear four as soon as we unlock him oh he's gear five okay and fine um all right let's see if it's more expensive to sim for the oh shard or whatever the gear piece than it is to buy the gear piece okay we're 100 crystals down now right all right and all right there we go 150 crystals down and we should be good all right there we go it's official don't buy anything from the shop if you can farm it unless it's kairos all right i think that's as far as we're going to be able to take him Level up his abilities now. We got one level seven. I think the rest are gonna have to be level six, right? No, that was level five. I think this one has to be level six. Okay. I think this one's also level six. Okay. And we have not unlocked. I think it was it's hero or savior. I think it's hero. Um, you know what, let's switch, and let's put some mods on him, right? You know what, Spy doesn't need it, it's only 4 speed anyway, um, alright, there we go, he's got 30 plus speed here, I'm hoping to get at least 100 speed, just from this one stat here, um, yeah, let's take Kanan's mod. He doesn't need it anyway. He's only gear six. Um, 10 speed. All right, that's good. We got 40 bonus speed. All right, now let's flip to speed. What do I do here? Um, let's, I think we take from Poggle here. I think we have to, right? Um, Poggle again, since he doesn't have the mod anyway. Alright, let's just pillage, poggle some more. I don't know what to do there. Let's just take from poggle. Um, there we go, more, more pillaging of the poggle. Alright. Alright, that was dumb. So, let's see if we can... All right, so we got 80 there, right? Um, I'm thinking we could get at least a little bit more if we have a crit chance, right? Oh, do I take it, do I take it, do I take it? Yeah, let's take it, let's take it. And let's check his speed there. How fast is he? All right, we got 80 speed. Let's see how he does on slices, okay? Ah, we didn't get any more. 14 is still acceptable, I think. All right, let's look here. Ah, uh, not quite. Come on, come on. No, oh, we need, we need speed here. All right, five speed, all right? Four speed? 22 
speed. What is this mod? Speed, 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 speed. Come on, one. Yes, one speed slice. I'm happy there. I'm happy there. All right. Just, just give me some more speed. All right. One more slice. Come on. One slice. Speed. No, oh, we are so close. But let's check the speed. You know what? We got 97 speed there. I think that is acceptable. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm just going to reapply these mods. Um, hope you guys like, subscribe, and have a great rest of your day. Peace.